Hello everyone! Welcome back. I'm Amelia. I'm Charlotte. And we're so happy to see you again. Mm. So recently, some brothers and sisters have encountered some difficulties in their lives mm. because of the rising food prices and they've encountered some problems because they have to be more busy. Yeah. Um, they need to work more to earn more income mm. and they have to be busy taking care of their kids and in general like it's just been very busy yeah. and it's been harder to worship God and to attend gatherings and read God's words. Yeah, yeah. So I guess they're getting further away from God and just can't feel God's guidance in their lives. Yeah, that's right. So what should we do? Um, our burdens and responsibilities, they're always going to be there. So how do we manage time for God in our busy lives? Mm -hmm. So actually recently, I've also encountered these kinds of problems. And that just makes me remember a story. It's about two dairy farms. Mm, and it goes like this. So there was a research company who wanted to see the dairy farm's production rate. So it shows two dairy farms. One is the yellow farm and the other is the blue farm. So the company gives them the same amount of feed and also the same amount of cows. So everything is nice and fair at the start, not much problems. But after one month, something shocked the research company. What happened? Mm, actually, for some reason, the blue dairy farm produced milk two times higher than the yellow farm. Wow. So, yeah. Two times? Yeah. So what's going on there? <laughs> yeah, so they feel really puzzled about this. And the research company, they employed an, a reporter. And then that reporter went to interview the yellow farm first. So the manager of the yellow farm, they said that they actually have a very strict work schedule and they would wake up at 5 a.m. in the morning until night time and each of the workers they had their set work in the set amount of times so everything was strict they need to follow that mm, but they just don't know why they tried everything they could but the result is that the milk production was still low mm. Mm. well then how did the other farm be able to produce so much more uh, like two times more you said yeah wow so like they had the same amount of cows yeah they have the same amount of feed so do they have some so sort of secret formula or something to make them produce so much milk <laughs> well i don't think there is a secret formula mm, but when the reporter went to the blue dairy farm to interview the manager actually then they found out the reasons behind it mm. so the blue manager he said that their work was nothing special. They get the same amount of feed and the same amount of cows. So everything is fair. But one thing was very special was that before the day would start, they would all rise up in the morning and make prayer to God and worship God. And that was why, yes, they can have more milk production. Even though they were really tired, but they still give time to worship God. Yeah. So that was the reason behind the milk production was higher than the other farm. Mm. Mm. Makes sense now. Yeah. So as you can see here, what's the message behind this story? Yeah, I think that when you have God in your heart, you would put God first and you would want to maintain a normal relationship with God. Mm. In this way, you can maintain God's blessings and guidance in your work and daily lives. Uh, but if we rely on ourselves and rely on our own bare hands to do things, then it often becomes very tiring. You get exhausted mm, and right. you often encounter obstacles. Yeah, it doesn't go as well. Just like the two dairy farmers, they had, they've done everything the same. But the only difference was one of them valued having God in their life. And no matter how tired they were, they never wanted to miss out on worshipping God and yet giving that time for God. So I think mm. that was really important. Yeah, yeah. So how can we establish that normal relationship with God? Yeah, good question. Uh, let's read some God's words. Uh, Charlotte, do you want to read this one? Yeah, sure. God's word says, Perhaps you are a president, a scientist, a pastor, or an elder. But no matter how high your office, if you rely on your knowledge, and ability in your undertakings, then you shall always be a failure and shall always be bereft of the blessings of God. Amen. So we can see here that it's really important to maintain a normal relationship with God 
And in this way, not only will your work become more efficient, but it's less tiring, just like God says here. Therefore, establishing a good relationship with God is of the utmost importance to anyone who believes in God. Everyone should regard it as a task of paramount importance and the biggest event in their life. Amen. So only by establishing an intimate relationship with God are you able to not only be more efficient and work more faster, smoothly in your daily lives, mm. it also becomes less tiring. Yeah, that's right. So how can we establish that normal relationship with God? Yeah, well, the Bible says, come near to God and he will come near to you. Mm, amen. So I agree. Yeah, getting close to God is a way for us to establish an intimate relationship with God. Just as the words of God says here, if you can dedicate one or two hours each day to true spiritual life, then your life that day will feel enriched and your heart will be bright and clear. If you live this kind of spiritual life every day, then your heart will be able to return more into God's possession. Your spirit will become stronger and stronger. Your condition will constantly improve. You will become more capable of walking the path on which the Holy Spirit leads and God will bestow increased blessings upon you. Amen. So if we want to be closer to God, we need to often come to God to pray and also give our hearts to God, whether that's in gatherings or spiritual practice, or when we're walking on the road, or yeah, when in the car or when we're at work, we should all pray to God and think about God's love. Then our hearts will become more peaceful. Yeah without us knowing it mm. Mm. yeah so in this way you know actually yes our heart can be more quiet before god and we have a closer relationship with god and in the things that we do we actually rely on god and gain god's guidance in our lives so thank you for watching brothers and sisters we hope that you liked it and if you want to join our faith groups please click on the link below yeah and we'll be sharing topics like how do you face the burdens in your life so welcome to join us and we look forward to seeing you there. Mm. Thanks for watching. See you.